May I speak now? You may. Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart. Quite a pleasure. Excuse my sudden visit, but I saw your fiasco on the picture show, and I just couldn't resist. What a performance! Why, I haven't been that entertained since the stock market crash of 1929. <laughs> so many orphans. Stop right there. Oh, dear, if I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so already. <laughs> Why does anyone do anything? Sheer, absolute boredom. I've lacked inspiration for decades. My work became mundane, lacking focus. Aimless! I have come to crave a new form of entertainment! <laughs> it's the purest kind, my dear. Reality! True passion! After all, the world is a stage, and the stage is a world of entertainment. <laughs> of course not! That's wacky nonsense! Redemption! Oh, the non-existent humanity! No, 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 no. I don't think there's anything left that could save such loathsome sinners. The chance given was the life they lived before. The punishment is this! There is no undoing what is done. So then, why do you want to help me if you don't believe in my cause? Consider it an investment in ongoing entertainment for myself. I want to watch the scum of the world struggle to climb up the hill of betterment. Only to repeatedly trip and tumble down to the fiery pit of failure. Smile, my dear! You know you're never fully dressed without one. Well, my dear, I haven't been active in hell for some time, and everyone remembers me from my radio show, the proper medium to express oneself. But you insisted on this noisy picture box advertisement, so I had a little fun with it. Oh, trust me, I can. Huh? Seems like you're having a bit of trouble there, hmm? Oh, I guess they've been there. Well, why are you even here? For the entertainment. I came here because I love seeing wasteful souls struggle to accomplish something meaningful and fail spectacularly. Like you are doing now. Good job. Wouldn't try that, my dear. This face was made for radio. Fair enough. I'll tell you what. Let's make a deal. <laughs> Do you think I'm that stupid, making a deal with a demon like you? Not for your soul, just a simple deal. I do this for you, and you never ask me to engage with this frivolous television technology ever again. Ah, yes. You're the one who ruined my coat. I definitely remember you now. What? You'll have to try harder than that next time, old pal. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair! Do you mind? I'm in the middle of breakfast. Oh, well, in that case, I'd be delighted to. Humanely. Hmm. Well, that's a lot less fun. Oh, I just took a well-earned sabbatical. Nothing serious. Though it's fun to keep everyone on their toes. <laughs> Interesting. Let's keep this between us. <laughs> Alistair! Yes, well, the little monsters prove to be rather useful. I guess that's why Charlie called it the Has-Been Hotel. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> ha <laughs> It was actually my idea. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> well, it's not very clever! Ha-ha! <laughs> Fuck you! If you ever say that again, I will tear your soul apart and broadcast your screams for every disrespectful wretch who dares to question me. Understood. Lovely. Good talk, my good man. 